guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm back with another video today's video is another unboxing snack crate that is dun, dun. i wonder what the, what's inside on which one i got this time this is actually going to be my official last box of snack crate yeah they haven't been so appealing so yeah let's see what's inside please make sure you like comment subscribe turn your post notifications comment down below anything you would like to see just let me know in the comment section down below okay let's open it up and see what we got like the way they put this tape it's crazy Welcome to this month's snacking adventure. Get social with us. Share your snack experience. Snack cream. <gasps> we have. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> we have the South Africa. Wow. <laughs> wow fun facts south africa is home to the highest commercial bungee jump in the world at 710 feet south africa is now the only country in the world to have hosted the soccer cricket and rugby world cup wow there are more than 2,000 shipwrecks off the South African coast, most dating back to at least 500 years. I did not know that. The oldest remains of modern humans were found in South Africa and are well over 160,000 years old. The first human heart transplant was performed in Cape Town in 1967. Wow. That's amazing. Okay, this is the format to know if your snacks are expired or whatnot. So inside this box, we have some mini cheddars, nosh nougat, baker's Issa more, peppermint crisp, Sally Williams nougat, And on this side, we have a Cadbury Five Star, Bar One Peanut, Nestle Tex Bar, Big Corn Bites, Lay's Caribbean Onion. There you go. That's what we have inside this box today. Okay, this is the... What is this? They did not say anything about these chips. Or maybe they did. Mm. Well, they don't show you that, but these are some Mexican chili flavored potato chips. We have the big corn bites. This is honey mustard flavored maize chips, but basically corn chips. All these chips. Then we have mini cheddars, fruit chutney flavored snack. Bake not fried. Then we have another mini cheddars. This is cheese flavored. Basically, these are crackers. Inside here, we have a biscuit. They didn't even say anything about this. Oh, yes, they did. These are the Baker's Et Eat Some More crackers. This is a bar none peanut bar, which is kind of like a knockoff version, I think of a payday or something like that. 
save the chocolate for last because you can never go wrong with chocolate. The text bar. A five-star Cadbury milk bar with caramel and a crispy biscuit. This is probably like a York peppermint patty. This is the peppermint crisp. And this is kind of like a knockoff version of a Snickers, but they have hazelnut cream. And inside here, these are some chocolate coated itsy bitsy wafer bites inspired by our famous sweetie pie. And that's what we have inside the box besides this trivia pack. They didn't even have the Sally Williams nougat. They did not at all. Some of this stuff in here, they did not even say up here. Like the Lay's Caribbean onion chips. I don't got that, but hey, it is what it is. We're going to try out the chips and then work our way on to the rest of the stuff inside the box. Yeah, let's go with these cheese flavor mini cheddars. These taste like um, knockoff version of Ritz crackers. Let's try them. A fruit chutney. Sorry about that. My nephew has come in just to play the rest of his game. Oh well. This is strong. The fruit chutney on this makes it taste more of a cheese cracker to this one. That's all right. Yo. Next, we're going to try the Mexican chili chips. They're packing some punch at the end. Whew. I like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got the next we're gonna try these honey mustard my maize maize which is corn chips. Sorry guys. These are really good. Yeah. Mm hmm. You showed these in South Africa. Mm. 
making a mess. Mmm, that is good. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Next, we're going to try these biscuits. Mm. I wonder if these are like some shortbread cookies that they call biscuits. They smell like it. Mm. You want to try some? Uh -huh. You want to chip? Uh, no. You want to try the chips? Huh? Chips? Huh? Chip? Want some? This is chip. Try it. Mmm. These put me in the mind of Lorna Dunes. The shrimp bread cookies. Okay, be careful. Mm-hmm. Real good. Mm. You want some? We're gonna save this one for last. All right, so let's try these milk chocolate confection with a arrow centered filled biscuit wafer. So basically like a knockoff version of a Kit Kat. Calm down. So bad. And it's Mom, broken in half, so. No. Calm down. Calm what? down. Calm down. Mm-hmm. A knockoff version of a Kit Kat. It's good. Mm. Mm hmm. Definitely. Oh, this part is already broken. Um, mm. Ooh. That put a bit of peppermint inside. Let's try it. Mmm. This one's good too. Okay. Mm hmm. Hold on. Yeah. This is good. Peppermint crisp. Mm hmm. Mm, that's true. Which one should we try next? 
This one is Barton and Peanut. Now, this one might be a knockoff version of a, of a Snickers. Milk chocolate nougat, caramel and pecan center. And I can't really see the picture, but there you go. Let's see how this one tastes. Okay. Smells good. I'm gonna have a toothache now. Mm. That one is good. Mm. Let me find out South Africa has some great candy. Mm -hmm. This is a Cadbury milk chocolate with caramel. With a ca classic Cadbury milk chocolate wraps. I want the filling of creamy caramel and cookie bits in the higher soft of a cookie bar. Mmm. The brown and peanut is definitely good. Mmm. I'm going to be chewing this candy for days. It's good. Mmm. Mmm. Maybe this is like a of a Twix. Mm-hmm. It looks like one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Twix, Twix vibes. Mm. And this ain't that cheap chocolate either. It's rich and creamy. Mm. It melts in your mouth. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mmm, this is made in Johannesburg, South Africa. I remember when I was growing up. I was in, I believe, middle school. And I read this book called Kiafra Boy. And it was about a boy who learned how to play tennis. And he got to meet Arthur Ashe, which was a, a famous tennis player from Johannesburg, South Africa. And he lived a hard life with his grandmother. And it was hard during the our pit, pit times. But he came, he found a way and was able to um, make a future and a life for him and his family. It's a true story. So if y'all have ever heard of the book, it's called Kiafa Boy. I forgot who it was writ written by, but that's the name of the book. It was a great book. I never got to read the second part to it. He, he, it was the second part to he was growing up and came to the United States and stuff like that. But yeah, that's what, because it said Johannesburg, so that's what brought me to that story. But yeah, let's try these. I like little milk duds. No, the Whopper candies. Mm. My taste buds are on fire today. This is good. The girl's sweet too is about to be hooked. 
I wonder what this one tastes like. Hazelnuts, nougat, and caramel smothered in milk chocolate. I don't know. This would be a hazelnut Snickers. Do they even have a hazelnut Snickers? I don't even know. But let's try the last one. They might do. I know they got hazelnut m &Ms. They might do have a hazelnut Snickers. I could be wrong. I don't know. But they always coming out with stuff. Smells good. Mmm. Mmm. It's not giving me any candy that I've tasted before, so. Mmm. It's good, though. Um. Mmm. Mmm. South Africa. Before I leave this earth, I need to come visit. Mmm. -hmm. That was just like. Incredible. So good. Mm. I really wish they gave me these chips to try. Mm. So it's kind of like a salt, onion, and vinegar type chip. I wish they would have put that in the box. That and these Sally Williams nougat candies. But so far... They sold me on this box. Now, I will give my honest opinion of all the boxes I don't try. I really enjoy this box from South Africa. And then the Caribbean box I did a while ago. But great, great products. India, that's number one on my list. London, that's a three. Now, South Africa and the Caribbean box, they are tied at five to me. Only because the chocolate was what sold me um, in both boxes. And they had some strawberry puffs that was in the Caribbean box. Those was good. At first, you can taste the flavor. But after eating a few, you can be like, okay, these are good. But guys, I am done. This was incredible. I am sad to say this go because this is the best box I've had so far. Wow. Mm -mm. There's a recipe to make a Malva loading thing so this must be it here yeah i wonder how the ginger beer tastes i mean i know what it tastes i've tasted it before they sell like some version of it in the store here in the united states of course but yeah this is great i know i didn't really get to get to the, the facts and stuff but it's it's whatever but anyway guys Excuse me. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. It was fun. Snack crate. Yeah, saved the best for last for me. Thank you. I really appreciate y'all. Um, until yeah, next my next one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified every time I post. And until next time, we are out of here. Peace.